Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of solar energy to explore a question that's becoming more relevant every day. What are the different types of solar panels? Solar energy has rapidly evolved from a niche technology into a mainstream solution for generating clean, renewable power. But with so many options available, it can be confusing to figure out which solar panel type is right for you. So let's break it down in this comprehensive overview. Before we get into the different types, it's essential to understand the basic function of a solar panel. A solar panel, also known as a photovoltaic PV panel, is a device that converts sunlight into electricity. It's made up of multiple solar cells that are composed of semiconductor materials, most commonly silicon. When sunlight hits these cells, it excites electrons, creating a flow of electricity. This process is what allows solar panels to generate power for homes, businesses, and even large-scale solar farms. However, not all solar panels are created equal. The efficiency, durability, cost, and appearance of a solar panel can vary significantly depending on the technology behind it. The three main types of solar panels are monocrystalline, polycrystalline, or multicrystalline, and thin film. Each of these types has unique features, advantages, and disadvantages. Let's explore each of them in detail. Monocrystalline solar panels, also known as single crystal panels, are the most efficient and widely used type of solar panel today. As the name suggests, these panels are made from a single, continuous crystal structure. Manufacturers achieve this by growing a large single crystal of high-purity silicon and slicing it into thin wafers. These wafers are then assembled to create the solar cells that make up the panel. The primary advantage of monocrystalline panels is their high efficiency. Typically, these panels have an efficiency rating between 18% to 22%, making them ideal for installations where space is limited. Since they produce more power per square foot, fewer panels are needed to generate a given amount of energy. This efficiency also means that monocrystalline panels perform better in low-light conditions or during cloudy days. Another benefit is their longevity. Monocrystalline panels are known for their durability, with a lifespan of 25 to 40 years, often backed by extended warranties. Moreover, they tend to have a sleek, uniform appearance due to their black color, which makes them aesthetically pleasing for residential installations. Despite their benefits, monocrystalline panels come with a higher price tag. The process of creating a single crystal of silicon is more labor-intensive and costly, which drives up the overall cost of the panels. Additionally, while they're efficient, they are more prone to performance drops at higher temperatures compared to other types. Polycrystalline solar panels, also known as multicrystalline panels, are another common type of solar panel. These are made from silicon as well, but the manufacturing process is quite different. Instead of using a single crystal, manufacturers melt multiple fragments of silicon together, then cool and slice them into wafers. This process creates solar cells that have a grainy, blue-speckled appearance due to the presence of multiple crystals. The biggest advantage of polycrystalline panels is their cost. They are generally cheaper to produce than monocrystalline panels because the manufacturing process is simpler and less wasteful. For homeowners or businesses looking to install solar on a budget, polycrystalline panels can be an attractive option. Polycrystalline panels also have a respectable efficiency range, usually between 15% to 17%. While they're not as efficient as monocrystalline panels, they still offer a good balance of performance and cost, making them a popular choice for larger installations where space isn't a limiting factor. However, this lower cost comes at the expense of performance and aesthetics. 
Polycrystalline panels are less efficient, so they require more space to generate the same amount of energy as monocrystalline panels. This makes them less suitable for situations where roof space is limited. They also tend to perform slightly worse in high temperature conditions and under low light environments. In terms of appearance, the bluish tint and the less uniform surface texture can be less visually appealing, especially for residential installations where aesthetics matter. While this doesn't affect performance, it's something to consider if the look of your solar array is important to you. Thin film solar panels are a completely different category of photovoltaic technology. Unlike crystalline silicon panels, thin film panels are made by depositing thin layers of photovoltaic material onto a substrate like glass, plastic, or metal. The most common materials used in thin film panels include cadmium telluride, amorphous silicon, and copper indium gallium selenide. Thin film panels are known for their versatility and lightweight design. Because they're flexible, they can be applied to a wider range of surfaces, including curved or irregular structures. This makes them ideal for specialized applications like building integrated photovoltaics, BIPV, or for use on large commercial rooftops. One of the most significant benefits of thin film technology is its low cost. The production process is less energy intensive than that of crystalline silicon panels, which makes thin film panels one of the most affordable options on the market. Additionally, they perform better in hot climates and in low light conditions compared to crystalline silicon panels. The main drawback of thin film solar panels is their low efficiency, which typically ranges from 10% to 12%. Due to this lower efficiency, you'll need a lot more surface area to generate the same amount of energy as you would with monocrystalline or polycrystalline panels. For this reason, thin film panels are usually not practical for residential installations where roof space is limited. Another downside is their shorter lifespan. While crystalline panels can last for decades, thin film panels often have a shorter operational life with warranties that typically range from 10 to 20 years. They're also less durable and can degrade faster when exposed to extreme weather conditions. While monocrystalline, polycrystalline, and thin film panels are the most common types in use today, the solar industry is constantly evolving. Researchers are working on new materials and technologies that could revolutionize solar energy. One such technology is perovskite solar cells. These are still in the experimental phase, but show immense promise due to their potential for high efficiency at a low cost. Perovskite cells can be manufactured using a range of materials, and they're flexible, lightweight, and semi-transparent. If successfully commercialized, they could be used in a variety of new applications, such as windows that generate electricity or ultra-lightweight solar panels. Another area of innovation is bifacial solar panels. Unlike traditional panels that capture sunlight only on one side, bifacial panels can generate electricity from both sides. This makes them particularly effective in environments with a lot of reflected light, such as snowy regions or installations with reflective surfaces. Though they come at a higher cost, the increased energy yield can make them worthwhile in the right conditions. Finally, there are also ongoing developments in concentrated photovoltaic CPV, systems. These use lenses or mirrors to concentrate sunlight onto high-efficiency solar cells. CPV systems can achieve efficiency rates well above traditional panels, but they require precise tracking systems and are more suitable for large-scale utility-grade installations. So, which solar panel type is best for you? The answer depends on your specific needs, budget, and the available space for your solar installation. If you're looking for maximum efficiency and have the budget, monocrystalline panels are likely your best bet. If cost is your primary concern and you have plenty of space, polycrystalline panels can offer good value. And if you're dealing with unconventional surfaces or need a lightweight, flexible solution, thin film panels might be the way to go. As solar technology continues to advance, 
new options are likely to emerge that can better fit specific use cases. Whether you're looking to power your home, your business, or even a large-scale solar farm, understanding the different types of solar panels is the first step in making an informed decision. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.